Welcome to Collecting Everything, where the goal of the series is to collect as many items from the collection log as possible. Come with me on this journey where I take on bosses and challenges I've never done before in hopes of getting those awesome unique drops. And with that, let's begin the journey. So we got ourselves here another Supplied Barrows event, and uh, let's let's hopefully get a... Let's get an item, because uh, our Barrows chests to items are not very good. I'm almost as bad at this as C Engineer is on his uh, PvP but hardcore account. <laughs> like, I have zero Guthans. Come on, like, oh. I would love to get to at least 11 items today. Like, let's get two new items. I know, it's a little, I'm asking a lot here. All right, first chest. This is going to be chest 201. Can we get an item? Doesn't look. Hello, another chest. Another nothing. All right, third chest. Yes, I got an item. Is it an item I already have? No clue. I don't remember. No. No. Oh, come on. All right, next chest. Oh, no back to back. Since our luck at Barrows was not that good, we're gonna move on to the Czar people and see if we can get any of their collection log items knocked out. We're gonna be starting off with the Tazar Kets because they have the biggest drop table on the collection log being the Maul, the Shield, the Cape, and then the three Obsidian armor pieces. The Weapon, Shield, and Cape are one out of 512 and then the armor pieces are one out of 2K. So hopefully we can get couple items maybe even get one of those armor pieces because that would be really cool to have in the collection log since they are pretty rare all right let's see how lucky we get hey, hey, hey we got ourselves the first drop here i'm like i think 50 kills in right now because i uh, like if i showed you my drop log right now you only see 27 that's because sometimes they don't drop anything but hey hey First drop? That's pretty fucking sick. I hope we get one more. So let's just take a look. There we go. One out of ten. Feels good, man. And there we are with the second drop. We got the mall. Hell yeah, man. Sick. Oh, that's actually sick. Okay. So we just need to get the cape and then all the obsidian and then we're done with this version of the Tazar. And there we are with the obsidian cape. I'm surprised I didn't get any repeats. Yeah, look at that classy cape. <laughs> Alright, so now all that I can get from these guys would be the 1 in 2000 drop rate of the obsidian armor. So I might switch to the the Zill. I don't know how you would say that, but these guys, because I think they drop the the dagger and the throwing rings. Yes. Yeah, so I was right on the next monster I have to kill, and he drops the. I think that's the the sword, the dagger, and then the rings. And then the guy who drops the, I don't know, is that a spear or is that a fucking wand? I don't know. But the guy who drops that, it's a 1 out of 4k drop, so I'll save that one for after I get the obsidian pieces. Yes! Another one bites the dust. Yes. So that leaves the, I think, dagger and ring. From these guys that's exciting yay so I totally didn't notice this but we got the dagger so I think uh, let me just turn that off so I think if I go to Sar 
Yes. All right. So all we need left from these guys is the ring. And then the rest are just super rare. And I think I might take a break. Maybe I'll try to get the spear, even though it's a 1 in 4K. I have been pretty lucky with those pretty big drop rate in the past. All right. So I want to take a little bit of a break from doing the czar people uh, weapons. And I'm going to give my hand a try at a uh, gnome restaurant so there's four items um, the grand seed pod and the mint cake are rare and then these are common so hopefully I don't go too dry on anything um, I'll just try to go for one or two items I don't think I'm gonna go for the full completion today but you never know I might get super lucky and get all four real quick and here we are with the next. Hey! Is that that? <laughs> Isn't that one of the rare ones? That's awesome. Okay. Second, second gnome. Ah, oh, that's nice. All right, so we have ourselves here one of the guys who can give me one of the two gnome glider stuff. And he didn't give it to me. He gave me a fucking snapdragon. And we're back here again with the captain. All right. What do we got this time there, my dude? <laughs> yes. Oh, there's another one. Another one bites the dust. Can I throw this on? Yes. What a freaking champ. All right, cool, cool, cool. So if we take a gander, that's two now. Yes. Two left to go. Can we get the back-to-back? No, this dude has the potential to give me a mint cake. Am I lucky? No, never lucky. This is why I think of your fucking opals. On the floor they go. All right, this dude can give me the goggles. Can I have the goggles, please? No, I cannot read. Is he gonna give me the goggles this round or am I just gonna get fucked? Yes! Yes! Awesome sauce. Which just leaves the mint cake. Oh, that is awesome. This man has an uncommon mint cake drop. Damn. I know you have a mint cake in your backpack there. You're gonna hand it over. You're gonna tip me that. Bro. Now this guy looks like a guy who'll have some uh, mint cake in his backpack. No, you just got some jades that I don't want. I would love to see a mint cake in my inventory. We're done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, it's another mini game done. And I didn't get any duplicates. Oh, it's nice. Awesome. After completing the Gnome Restaurant, I think it's time to end the video off there. One thing I'd like to say about Gnome Restaurant, I may have sounded like I felt so happy to be done, which I was, but I genuinely think that was one of the best mini games in RuneScape. Gnome Restaurant is actually really fun. It's except if you're trying to go for items and stuff, then it's, you know, it can be tedious when you don't get the right gnome. But yeah, it's a pretty fun mini game. If you haven't tried it, definitely give it a go. Really fun. But that's besides the point. In today's episode, we got nine new items unlocked in the collection log, which is huge. That's a big amount. 
thanks to my luck at the Tazar and Gnome restaurant. Uh, I forgot to say in the clips earlier, but that took around 50 to 60 games of Gnome restaurant to get everything. And most of that was just getting the mint cake. What you guys didn't see is that it took me like two hours just to get the mint cake after getting the goggles. And who knows, maybe in the next episode I'll take on another mini game like Castle Wars with a large amount of items to unlock. And with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!